Lesson number 11, Common First Aid Practices and Scenarios, Part 2. First aid is to deliver immediate assistance of any form to a sick or injured person pending the arrival of a professional. You may also be faced with a situation where a victim becomes unconscious. In the first of just such a situation, you may find the victim is breathing normally, but does not speak, move, or react to physical or verbal stimulation. First, try to wake the victim up by talking to them, and asking them to respond by opening their eyes or squeezing your hand. If she does not respond, try tapping them on the shoulder, but if you still receive no response from the victim, call for help or send someone to call if possible. After calling for help, place the victim down on their back and tilt the head back to ensure their airway is open. Then lean over the victim's head and check for signs of respiration while keeping the victim's head tilted back. Signs of respiration can be feeling the victim's exhaled air on your neck, hearing the sounds of respiration, or seeing the victim's chest and abdomen rise. A victim that does not respond or move but is breathing normally is an unconscious victim. Turn the victim on their side in the recovery position to prevent the victim from swallowing any liquids that may come out of their mouth. Be sure to limit movements of the spine as much as possible while turning the victim and ensure there is no pressure on the victim's chest. The victim should be lying as flat as possible while keeping their mouth open to allow the flow of liquids to exit. While waiting for help to arrive, do your best to protect the victim from heat or cold and monitor them to be certain they are still breathing. In the second case of an unconscious victim, they may not be breathing and you don't have access to external defibrillators. In this situation, the victim is not speaking or moving and cannot breathe normally, meaning very slow or very noisy respirations. After first identifying that they are unconscious, as noted above, alert medical services and check for breathing. Then, place the victim on their back and push hard and fast with the heels of your hands on the center of the victim's chest 30 times. You should be compressing the sternum from 5 to 6 centimeters as you push down on the chest at a rate of more than 100 compressions per minute. Be sure to allow the victim's chest to recoil fully in between compressions. Provide two rescue breaths after every 30 compressions by closing the nose of the victim taking a deep breath and blowing slowly into the victim's mouth until their chest rises. You should have the victim's head slightly tilted back while performing this action and your mouth over that of the victim. The two rescue breaths should take less than five seconds. Continue the cycle of 30 compressions and two rescue breath until help arrives. If you cannot perform rescue breathing, Perform chest compressions without interruption until help arrives.